morning and welcome back to the Sugar Chateau. I'm Wade and it is a comfortable 83 degrees the first week of August in South Louisiana. No idea what's going on. Everything's all messed up. If this is climate change, I'll take it. Sorry to everybody who's not as comfortable as we are down here right now. Last week it was brutal, but this week... Phew, I mean, last week was normal. So, we're back in the bus today. I think CJ may be out here to start painting the inside today. That could be very interesting to start getting that begun in here. Um, I sanded most of this yesterday. Got it ready to accept some paint. Needs to be wiped down, I'm sure. But if we can get that part started, it would probably look pretty nice in here. I'm going to work on the outside, do some more fiberglass work today. See if I can get a few more spots done. See what I can get, uh, get accomplished. So here we go. tedious. Fingers start to hurt after a little bit, but it all comes off. No chemicals. Super easy. Thank you for the ice water.
Back in the bus. Hopefully we can get some stuff done today. Look how good this looks though. Look at this. Oh my, look how nice. Looking good, looking real good. So today I am going to attempt to take all this stuff in the bedroom all these doors and panels and cabinet doors and everything outside and start painting them all right getting all the cabinet doors out here ready for painting you got to take all these catches off before i can do anything so process I've got all this painted well this is probably a quarter of the cabinets the cabinet doors I don't know what to do with them I don't have any place to put them and I don't want to stack them on top of each other because they're not completely dry I'd like to move on to the next set I'd like to move on to paint to the next set but I guess I'm just gonna have to reinstall them as I go. Let them dry hanging on the wall. All right, let's do that. Let's replace the wall board around this window. And then also to replace the wall board behind this couch from the leaks that we had around the windows. So we had several leaks around the windows and that was necessary resealing the windows was necessary to stop the leaks but it was also necessary to rebuild those walls all right so i'm going to get the sanding on these cabinet doors you don't need to see that you don't want to see that so i'm going to sand on these doors i'm going to get the rest of the stuff together and then we will uh paint the rest of these this afternoon and then maybe get the rest of the cabinet doors installed so this will look a little more finished Looking forward to that. It's been torn apart way too long. So, here we go. Just to give you a quick peek at what we're dealing with here. My paint was a year old. So when it came out of the gun, it was sputtering and spitting. So, got sputters and spits all over it and bugs and hair and dust and nasty, so. These are all these are all pretty bad. They're all pretty rough. And we're putting this much effort into it. I definitely don't want that. I don't want to have to look at that every time we're in it. Because all it would do is piss me off. So I'm doing the right thing. And actually taking some time and sanding them down. Clean them up before I spray them again with brand new paint we just bought last night. I've got all these cabinet doors sanded down. Bugs are off. Got uh, more cabinet doors to remove in the back. Start cleaning those while they're on. Maybe giving them a light sand while they're still on. So we can pull them off and paint all those too. And here's another little project we might, uh, well, not might, we've already started on it. There's porcelain tile underneath this linoleum. So. Most people chip out that porcelain and linoleum. I think we're going to try to bring it back. We've got a darker wood floor we're going to put in here. Maybe bring it to right here and have porcelain tile through the rest. That would be, I don't know, I think that'd be kind of neat. So we're about to start working on that too. Goodness gracious, it never ends. All right, so I worked on this floor for about a half an hour. Look what's under there. Look what's under there. That's porcelain tile. 
I mean, I'm sure when they laid this floor down, they went, oh yeah, that looks so good, but what the, look at that. That's amazing. All right, let's pull some handles off. Continue the painting process. I'm gonna yank all these, all the hardware, clean all these doors up. Start getting them ready for paint. Moved into the bathroom of the bus. And I'm taking these doors off and getting them ready for paint. Since I've already got paint in the gun, I may as well just keep on going. So that's what I'm doing. Scuffing them up, cleaning them up real nice, getting all the dust and dirt on nasty off of them. Taking the hinges off and bringing them to be painted. We've got this round of cabinet doors painted. They look a lot better than when they had all the bugs and stuff in them. They're definitely a lot, lot better looking. This one still has a bug in it. Still getting bugs in them. But not like it was the other night. Hell no. But for the most part, they're looking good. They're looking real good. All right, might be time to start sticking them back in. They're pretty dry. Make some room for the next round. set of cabinets we'll let them wait we'll let them wait we'll let them dry we'll let them dry for about 15 minutes we'll go inside and put the handles on the other ones all right let's see how dry these things are let's see if they need another coat Oh, it's definitely gotten warm. Oh, look at that. They're drying so quickly. Fantastic. Fantastic. I don't think they need a second coat. Amazing. This one's still a little damp. But, looks really, really good. Very nice. So the kids all showed up early. So we're gonna cut it short. Let's go clean up our mess and go hang out with the family. That's gonna be it for today for the RV. Got some engagement photos to shoot tonight. That's different. That's a different part of the channel. So we'll get these put up and clean up and be uh, be done for the night. Alrighty. Alrighty, so that's where we're gonna shut it down for the day. Brought all my doors in so they could just keep curing completely in here in the bus. They're not tacky anymore at all, so they'll be just fine in here. They'll get good and dry, and then we'll be able to come back out here, put them all back on after we paint the cabinet walls.